what we might expect from Apple's A13 chip. This video is coming up right now. Let's go. We are still a long way away from hearing anything official about Apple's next system on a chip. The A13 is likely to be unveiled in September along with the new iPhones it will power. But the design, manufacture and testing of these chips takes years, far too long for Apple to suddenly make a radical changes. The A13 design is likely for all intents and purposes set in stone by now. By looking at the past A series chip and exploding from what we know of the manufacturing process, Apple will use this air we can get a reasonably picture about what to expect from A13 chip. It will almost certainly be the fastest SOC Apple has ever developed by iPhones but exactly how fast it can be. For the A13 we can accept Apple to stick with its manufacturing partner TSMC which has a firm lead in chip manufacturing technology. But TSMC is not yet ready to make another chip to a new chip process known as it did in jumping from 10 nanometers to 7 nanometers last year. The 5 nanometers transition will probably be ready in time for the 2020 iPhones but this year's model will still be built in a 7 nanometer process. That doesn't mean we can't expect any improvements on the manufacturing side. TSMC is currently ramping up its 7 nanometer plus process which uses EUV extremely ultraviolet elder trophy for some of the chips layers. It should allow chips with better density and more power efficiency. A recent report from the Chinese site Commercial Times claimed that Apple will be the first company to use a new as yet unheard of 7 nanometer pro process from TSMC for the A13. It's not clear if this is an enhanced version of the regular 7 nanometer process or the EUV 7 nanometer plus process. But it's clear that Apple intends to release the A13 with the best manufacturing technology possible. And that we can expect improvements over the 7 nanometer process used in the A12 and A12X chipset. The A12 increased transistor Apple's count to surprising 6.9 billion, but the die idea was around 83 millimeters, far from the largest chip Apple's ever put in in a smartphone or in an iPhone. In fact, it's the smallest iPhone chip in terms of area in nine years, and the A5 and A10 were each over 120 millimeters. In other words, Apple's iPhone chip are usually larger than the A12 and particularly so than producing a new chip with the same manufacturing process as the year before. It would be a conservative guess to assume that the A13 would be around 25% larger and together with an in increased density of TSMC's improved process carrying a transistor count of around 10 billion. That's the equivalent to the A12X in the iPad Pro. So guys, hope so you have liked this video. If you have liked this video, don't forget to share this video, subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Until then, peace.